comments and seeing our, our Bureau Talks uh, uh, serial number 5. Uh, today's uh, special topic is about the construction of dams in Bureau Cement. Mr. Margarito, Mr. Antonio and Mr. Savio. So, welcome to uh, the presentations. Yo soy ingeniero civil. Uh, yeah, he's a civil engineer. Uh, he Thank has you. worked with uh, ferro cement in uh, in dams, in bridges, uh, and he is basically specializing in the uh, dams of ferro ferro cement dams. Okay, we'll start with the presentation, and during the presentation we can have a discussion. Okay, so this is the same presentation that he had taken to Brazil, but he has just added, complemented it with a few more things additionally um, to make it more clear. ¿Qué es una pantalla de ferrocemento? Ustedes ya lo conocen porque han trabajado hoy a mucho de esto. So uh, you already know the this is the screen which is being presented for ferrocement. You already know a little bit about it, so we'll get started. Okay, it uh, it's, it's okay about the material afterwards we will talk about, but the general conditions we're going to start with. The so, um, entrance has to be uh, uh, the the narrowest which one can find, and the uh, glass or the container the biggest that what that is possible. The slope of the land um, in question um, should be like gentle at a maximum of 8%. So the lateral uh, embedded things should be on a very firm and uh, uh, hard or rocky uh, ground. Uh, the height of the wall depends on the slope of the uh, stream and the height of the, uh, the entrance uh, should be a maximum of 5 meters. So that is, he's saying that the height of the wall depends on the slope of the stream Yes, and that mouthpiece, Bokia is like the entrance of the mouthpiece, maximum of five meters. Okay, the mortar which is used should be at the ratio of one is to two is to five, cement sand. Uh, the uh, strength, the strength of the concrete should, should be that 250 kgs per slash cm centimeter square. The separation of the spillway, the drums and uh, brackets, I think, depend on the size of the structure. Uh, it's a it's an it's a sy ideal system for communities who are uh, far away and dispersed. One doesn't require energy for the operation of the system. Uh, the uh, collection of the rainwater uh, is made uh, in different manners, in different ways. Desventajas. The disadvantages. El, el alto costo inicial para familias de bajos recursos. So it's a high initial cost for families who have uh, low resources, low less money or low resources. The volume of the capture of uh, depends on the precipitation of the zone and of the area, and it depends on the area of the of of the capturing. Factores. Uh, different factors. The feasibility of capturing the water depends Area on the de captación. Or depends Area on the de captación no mayor a 9 kilómetros cuadrados. Uh, depends on the precipitation of the place and the area of capture uh, not more than 9 kilometers square. The use of water, uh, of the water, can be for uh, food, uh, for hygiene or for irrigation of the uh, of the garden backyards or existe uh, una relación directa oferta demanda there's a direct relation a demand supply direct uh, relation uh, the cost is uh, below any type of uh, construction uh, okay so during uh, during its construction one needs to know the land or the, the place uh, by the shifting and the transport of the material. Uh, you, you have to know the, the material banks and or the prices of the regional material. Uh, uh, the social aspects is accepting of the technology to be used for the community for the type of work that it is. Uh, there should be a, a professional executive one has to have professional 
the capture and the volume of the storage uh, should not be less than 20 liters per day per person. Uh, to extract the <laughs> petroleum materials with the authorization of the community, accepting of the technology to be used by the end users. The professional person over there should uh, show the safety uh, to the safety requirements and everything to the end users. The preliminary studies, uh, the um, finding out of the place with the native people, uh, the rise, the topographic ri ri rise of the land, the budget of the work, uh, laboratory tests, design or the composition of the mixtures, the practice tests of the compression of the specimens, the training of the uh, users. Inicio de la obra. And start of the job, start of the work. You can see in the image the uh, topographic uh, rise on in on the site. Uh, we should be able to see exactly uh, where the embedding is to be. La curvatura es la forma de la parábola. The curvature is in the form of a para parabola. If one makes the design, you can see in the image it's been marked out the entire region uh, so basically you can see that's the bank of materials uh, that uh, that he's pointing out to so if the uh, slope is too uh, steep then the capturing of the water is very little so this is the idea of capturing uh, he has an image of the dam that he has done with this is the ideal capture of the water so it starts with a, it starts with a steep uh, Y después, y después está la suave. And then it becomes a gentle slope. So earlier, uh, in, I think 20 years ago, when it was when they used to start, there were four arches in the embedding buttress. Uh, the uh, strengths are very critical. One can see in the red part of in that image. Uh, which, that's why when they did all the studies, then they found the um, Better like the laderas, that's the slopes of the steel structures. Uh, the ideal or the they perfected it, the slopes of the steel structures. We have laboratory tests over here. So we take we carry out the tests in order to see how they behave. That is uh, how the uh, reinforced uh, structures behave. And we have seen a, a failure of uh 50 grados uh 50 degrees uh you can see where he is so he they carried out some kind of tests for the compression uh and moreover they had uh, the elements of the concrete you already know these materials so i'm assuming it's not a problem for y'all so basically you have for the construction of the dams upstream water Se debe colocar. you should place Gaviones. The gabions. Okay, to make the dam functionality uh, more useful, uh, they, they carried out some kind of uh, um, experiments in terms of the mixes, the mix, uh, the design or the engineering of the mixes. Uh, to In order to check whether the uh, petroleum materials stay within the range which is permitted, and, and based on that, and then based on that, they checked the uh, strength uh, and they conducted some kind of tests for to check it, for checking the strength. Okay, so the laboratory tests are the most important to ascertain the safety and security. The concrete which is obtained, uh, the average strength is 308 kgs per centimeter square. Uh, at 28 days, and that is what is... That is what is important for them. And for the motor, oh, they obtained a strength of 300 and uh, I think that last figure, 392 kilograms per centimeter square. It means that there is a huge uh, safety, security, um, like assurance of the strength of the materials. So once we get the laboratory test, we go to the actual place that's on site. So uh, the ancho, that's the breadth, uh, two meters. Yeah, two meter width. You can see in the image the 
para you can see that the form is in like it's been sketched on to the ground uh, can you see the part which is pointing out in that part there is a rope uh, and there there are the um, the embedded structures that is buttress basically uh, these are the people they training them over there in that that one particular uh, that part on top which is so showing with his cursor which is the extreme one side of it that is a part of the excavation the excavation should be done or should be carried out in a, a rocky place rocky area uh, you should uh, make sure that the conditions of the land are so once the excavation is done you have to wash this very well with clean water uh, to remove all the uh, dust or to remove all the mud and uh, all the other parts so the water gets filled up in here so if there are very fine particles which which have not been washed off very very properly then it can be a problem you can see the image on the right side on top where he's pointing the cursor basically in that part there, there was a very bad land like not ideal land uh, which needed to be redone the terrain is very hot. so you basically need a hard part a compact hard and rocky area so uh, it is very important for him personally the buttresses so uh, basically the uh, slab of the cement has to be uh, uh, graded not uh, it, it is not um, strong it's not sturdy and you cannot uh, rely on it it's not reliable you can see over here on the last picture on the right side corner that this is how it should be uh, over here you can see that uh, there was no requirement to put anything other than just the slab so it was not necessary to excavate in the center it was okay to just put the slab two uh, um, superficial structures are uh, 12 cm one made as 12 cm uh, so you have to put five throughout the entire length you have to put a uh, uh bars and every 40 cm there is a rod that has to be put you have to put three blocks Para, of mesh okay in order to get the canvas of the mesh there's one structure which is vertical and one which is horizontal na entendido so basically three parts which are buried in the cement if it's a thing but buried in the cement and two parts which are vertical so in total five So the mesh is basically curved it is bent yeah it is bent uh, to follow the curvature part so it when it 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 is it vibrates so one has to avoid ke uh, ke bitar so the the air of air so it should vibrate because if it doesn't vibrate then the corrosion of the material is much higher Uh, so the, you have to use that whatever the vibrador that is the vibrations for the vibrations uh like in this photograph that he is showing on the right side okay 5 cm in the two ends that one has to so that this remain in a vertical position so one places the uh, that canvas or the Thing, reinforced things one starts the uh, putting of the mortar so in case you don't fill that up then it can deform the uh, mesh uh, and it can affect the curvature okay you need a lot of uh, support structures in order to be working on that uh, last that picture that he's pointing out Oh, in the in this picture, you can see uh, that first they did the reinforcements. Later on, they placed it uh, on the wall. And this left it? side part, basically in that picture, you can see it is growing. It is going higher and higher. The wall is going higher and higher. It's a coincidence that it is something like two and a half. The most critical It's and work-related job is. After you finish the first canvas of the mesh, you can see that this part is ready to be covering the next uh, canvas of mesh. 
uh in the training of the people okay so you have to pull it from your you have to uh, pull it out from your and uh, extend it basically you have to make sure that this mesh doesn't get stuck uh, this uh, sheet or this uh, wood or whatever it is it's to avoid the friction and it should uh, it makes sure that it doesn't break the mesh okay so here in this mortar part you can see that this is the first uh, canvas and the uh, second uh, part of that canvas of the mesh you can see in the first picture that is the same one we have worked uh, in placing the meshes we have worked with different curvatures the process is best is better than the earlier one this process is better than he is going to show which one that is the most difficult way uh, thing to do because of the place, placing of the mesh uh, he can't place the mesh very easily when it comes to this kind of so it is not possible uh, to kitan uh, uh, to remove the reinforced uh, because of that this process is not recommended basically according to the plan Uh, the height that we wanted we have achieved it in this particular picture so, that part which he indicated first is going to be the part of the spillways okay so in order that to avoid that the water escapes or comes out as you can see in the next picture this is to avoid the water leaving the water going out when we don't have a proper stream we can uh, go into one part of the stream and make a small dam so uh, as you can see this is part of a pathway so uh, basically he it it is something to do with he had to change it from 5 meters it was taken to 7.4 meters okay and what is the size of each box 190 okay. in in the uh, in this spot and vertical is 1.5 जोन Uh, see. Yes. Okay, this is the uh, dam which he had shown the pictures earlier. These pictures was related to this particular dam. Oh, we have to find one particular place in this area uh, where uh, retain, retain air is is from Ismo. Okay. To retain. Al no haber cause. uh i no aver in because there is no uh, cause aha uh -huh. arroyo ah when there is no like stream basically again you have to put on the two sides you have to put some more walls so that the water doesn't escape from there uh this is a kind of step foundation uh, he has used as per the topography and uh, Uh, accordingly the base of that foundation he has prepared okay this is one more dam which was created basically it is uh, uh, retira that is uh, to remove all the materials which are which were left over there so that for maintenance you have to do that this is the problem that he was mentioning earlier we can see the problems over here when the dam is full and as an emergent uh, watering this is basically the renovation or the rehabilitation yeah i just ask him when that was cracked when the dam was full of water it was at the maximum capacity so they started uh, making the repair work uh, with mortar mm. it was a very dangerous maneuver that they had to undertake uh, they had to take a part in order to move the uh, Uh, water a little bit so once that uh, it was dislocated the water then uh, they had to uh, work on the meshes they put an extra mesh yeah okay so now it is uh, perfectly done and uh, for how many years it is good uh, condition 
19 years. This repair work happened actually closer to the construction. So this is his he's pointing out to some uh, major repair uh, works. Yeah. Per uh, square meter, the cost was $2,900. Including cementation, uh, maneuvers, materials. Uh, so if the community can do it, then the cost will be much less. Uh, the cost will be only like a lot less than that. That is a research uh, professor. This is the National Polytechnic Institute. Mm -hmm. It is an interdisciplinary center of research for the uh, development of the regional integral development of the uh, uh, area of Oaxaca. That is a region in Mexico. Uh, thank you for wonderful presentation, Mr. Margarito. Gracias por la presentación tan interesante. Mr. Antonio and uh, Mr. Savio. I am also thankful to Ms. Reena Rai Chaudhary, who has been a wonderful mediator and uh, very you. nicely translated to understand us in engineering language. Thank you, Anna. Uh, he has given a very excellent presentation and uh, not only the construction using the processing technology, but right from hydrological planning, geological investigation, and everything he has covered, all the activities, what in our state it is done by the uh, government. It is water resource department. So he has taken every minute effort to design it perfectly and very nicely. Uh, in nutshell, uh, the, the height of this dam was almost 7.4 meter height, having uh, multi layers, three to four uh, uh, stories, we can say. And every box was around 1.5 meter in height and 1.9 meter horizontally. The thickness of the walls, individual walls of the bellow cement were maximum 50 millimeter. The length of the dam uh, was around 12 meters and uh, he has constructed a uh, number of dams, almost 23 dams, small and large. And the most beautiful part is the repairs done uh, uh, to this uh, dam when it was cracked, when the water was full. I think this is the most beautiful part of this technology. Even when the water is full, he could repair the dam Restore it nicely, and since last 19 years, it is functioning very well. Uh, the cost of economics we can always check uh, later, and uh, with the help of the parabolic shape and the different box type uh, design, uh, and using the different theory, a uh, very excellent design and the construction he has made. Uh, thank you very much to all of these uh, participants and particular people.